Hello everyone, welcome back to IV's YouTube channel. Today I will demonstrate how to store data in HDFS and run a MapReduce job to solve the word count problem. Before we begin, let's check the Hadoop version, which is 2.7.0. If you haven't configured Hadoop on your Windows system, please pause this video and refer to the previous video for instruction. Now to launch the Hadoop cluster, first run the start dfs.cmd command to launch the name node and data node. Once it's done, run the JPS command to check if everything is working perfectly. Next, run the start yarn.cmd command to start the resource manager. Again, use the JPS command to ensure that the cluster is running smoothly. You can also check the cluster from your browser. Just enter localhost 9870 in the address bar. If it's not working, try localhost 50070. It will work. Localhost 8088 will show you the resource manager. Now let's check if any files are present in HDFS using the ls command. Here I have an temp folder. You can also check it from the browser. Click on utilities then browse the file system. In the search bar just enter backslash and click on go. You will see the temp folder present over here as well. Next I will create a folder named Rakib in HDFS and check it from the browser. On my local system, I have a folder that contains multiple part files as well as a large file of 120 MB and a video file of 450 megabyte size. Let's start by uploading the video file into HDFS. Copy the path of the file from your local system. Go to command line prompt and write HDFS space DFS space dash put followed by the file source path. and space then the destination path then press enter once it's completed go to the browser and search for the folder name you will see that the file has been copied now let's do the same for the large text file upload it to hdfs you can access the content of the text file in HDFS by using the tail command. Similarly, we can copy the folder that contains multiple part files into HDFS as well. Once it's done, check it from the browser, you will see that all part files have been copied. Now let's run a word count program on the text file. Writing a MapReduce job from scratch can be a tedious task, but Hadoop already provides a program for it. For that, go to the Hadoop folder, then navigate the share folder. 
then open Hadoop folder and finally open MapReduce folder. You will find that MapReduce example a jar file. Copy the path of this jar file and go to the command line prompt and write Hadoop space jar space followed by the path of the MapReduce jar file. Then give a space and write word count. Then provide the source text file path and the output path where the result will be stored. The MapReduce program will start and you can check the job status from the resource manager. Click on accepted jobs to view the status. If you encounter an error like task failed java hip space, you can solve it by modifying the mapped site.xml file. So first go to the Hadoop folder again, then navigate the etc folder, then again Hadoop folder and you can find in the bottom mapped site.xml. Edit the mapper site.xml file and add two new properties write the name of the property as mapreduce.map.java.ops and mapreduce.reduce.java.ops set the values for mapreduce dash capital x mx 4096m for 4 GB of RAM allocation and for the reduced task allocate 6 GB of RAM. After modifying it, save it and close it. Before running the MapReduce job again, delete the part 1 folder from the output directory. It will throw an error if it is already exist. Now run the same MapReduce job again and you will see that it's run successfully this time. Check the output folder from the browser to ensure that the output has been stored. You can also check it from the command line prompt as well using tail command. To copy the output file from HDFS to your local system and store it as a text file, you can use the get command. Write hdfs space dfs space dash get followed by source path. And space then the destination path then press enter. And you will see one text file copied in my local directory. You can open that text file and see the content as well. Once again, go to the research manager to check the job status. In the finished section, you will see one job that failed and another job that succeed. You can monitor the job status from here as well. 
that's it for today's video thank you for watching in the next video i will demonstrate how to configure hive in windows operating system until then take care bye bye